Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our next home video update. So if you've been following along, we built our new construction home with Ryan Homes. We built it in 2020. We officially moved in here in 2021. We've been doing some home projects. We also got some really exciting news this year that we are officially expecting baby number two. So my uploads have been a little bit slow on here, but we have been recording all of our projects and things we'll be doing around the house just to kind of spruce up whenever you get a new construction home. There might be some things that you want to do to put your own little touch or your own little flair on your home or in your spaces. So this video is gonna be all about our garage. So our experience with Ryan Homes has always been that all of the garages come unfinished. And at first we didn't realize this until we moved into our first new construction home. We were like, wait, we wanna actually like use this space and have it like feel nice and clean and painted. So that's what we did. So whenever we moved in here, we knew that would be one of the first projects that we wanted to tackle. In the past, we've actually used our garage as like a little home gym. So if that's up your alley, you can totally Totally do that for us this time around it's mainly gonna be for storage purposes we actually use our basement we have a media room we turn that into our home gym so if you haven't watched that video I think I also upload that to my channel already so I will link that little media room to home gym conversion video in the description below but for our garage here mainly for storage might park our car in it in the winter but mainly for storage and then for my husband's little like projects he has his own little workbench in there now so he's really excited for all this tools and all of that little space so in this video we're gonna be diving into how we painted it we did the epoxy on the floor. We got a bunch of different storage solutions. So if this is up your alley, stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, let's get going. So the first step in our garage project is to paint. We wanted to make sure we painted all of the walls and the ceiling and then we would tackle the floor next. So stay tuned to see what the floor looks like. But for the walls, we kept it super basic. I'm pretty sure Manuel just went to Sherwin-Williams and got some basic flat paint, like white. And we painted all the walls and it's in the exact same color. One coat should probably do, but if you want to, you certainly can do two coats as well and if you have any paint kind of lying around on hand that you have a big five gallon bucket of you could certainly use that as well but the nice part in this step of the process is that if you spill on the floor you don't have to worry about it you don't have to blue tape you don't have to put any tarps down just make sure if you do have stuff in the garage maybe you cover it up but we kind of just were shifting our stuff that we had in the garage as we were painting so that was step number one and then we will dive into the rest all right so here we are we have finished this wall painted this wall and we should be proud of getting this wall done well because you should just note that that like Ryan Holmes doesn't finish the garages. So like the walls look like how the back wall looks. And I still don't think they insulate this wall or this wall. So I will have some insulation guys come in. They'll basically drill a, a hole at the top and then they'll put a tube down there and then they'll insulate each of these walls. I wish they did actually insulate this one and that wall. It would be a lot warmer in here and we're gonna get the, ins the garage. What is this called? Garage door? door. We're gonna get the garage door insulated as well. If I had a perfect world, I'd have a door right here too. But you know, can a guy dream? Once I finish painting the rest of this place, I just got some shelves, just got some shelves from Home Depot. So my project for today, by the way, I think this started like 8 a.m. Build these shelves. I got two of them plus another cabinet. I'm going to put all this stuff onto those shelves. And then once that's all done, I will paint the floors and that's it. Then we'll be done. All right, so I have finished setting up this bad boy. What is this called? Husky? Husky. I got a Husky shelf built right there. It takes about mm, 20 minutes. Here's the other one. Gonna make that one right here. I'm probably gonna get one or two more for that wall. And then this wall, I'm gonna get my stuff for my tools. You know, this is gonna be my station where I could do my manly things, you know, nail hammers, use my drill, you know, hang that stuff up. Not that I use it, but I just wanna feel like you know, cool. When people come over, I'm like, yeah, I do tools. <laughs> You know? I do tools. I do tools. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to the floors today. My main priority is gonna be finishing painting and then getting as many things as I can off the ground so that eventually I can paint the floors. All right, so this is my second day working in the garage. First day, we started to paint this wall. It took two coats of paint, but that's okay. And then we started to get, I was usually building shelves, but instead we got these husky, uh, husky garage storage things. Now, most of this stuff on here needs to be organized, thrown in the trash. This is my trash pile. I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff cleared up and then I'm going to start to create what will be my working space. Christine still wants to be able to park her car. Eventually, I'll make sure she has enough space to do that while I still have enough space 
to work. And of course the trash cans kind of need to stay in here or I'll build a shed for them over there. Probably gonna paint the floors today, insulate the garage door, then we'll have a nice working garage. Now that the paint is done, our next step is to do the floors. For the floors, we are using an epoxy kit that we got at Lowe's. We have used this kit for one car garages and two car garages several times. This is also the exact same kit that we use for our at-home gym, which is downstairs in our basement. So we love this. Emmanuel usually just rolls the gray paint onto the floor and then we use these little sprinkles, or at least that's what I call them. We put the paint chips on top. We get the blue, black, and white set, and we totally love it. It's really just a, a pretty quick process for us. A little painting, I do the sprinkles, and then it is done. Show them what you got. What is this? This is for the windows? Yeah, I don't know if we want, I don't know if I want to actually insulate the top. I mean, if we don't insulate the top, it's just gonna drain, you know, bring cool air in, and then it'll make it. Yeah, so yeah. these are the windows that we have to like put something on. And instead of putting the insulation, I think you put this on so that you can't tell. It's a blackout. Oh, blackout. Blackout tint. Blackout tint. Like I'm a boss. Yep, so this is the garage door insulation kit. This is what we bought on Amazon, we bought two of them. So this is what our inside of our garage door looks like now that the insulation is complete. Like we showed you guys, we use those Amazon kits. So it comes with the insulation. It also comes with these little caps or clips. I'm not actually sure what they're called, but you just press those in to hold the insulation against your door. Initially, we didn't actually put those on, but we found that a couple of the pieces were starting to fall out a little bit. So we clipped those in and it feels so much nicer in here during the winter and the summer. It really, really regulates the heat in the cooling. There's one really cool feature in our garage that I don't think I recorded any footage of Emmanuel actually installing it because it was a little bit scary. He was up on a really high ladder. I don't know if you can tell, but our garage is actually pretty high. I, I don't know how high the ceiling is, but the ceilings are pretty high. So Emmanuel wanted to utilize more of the vertical space. So he actually installed these, like I'm gonna call them ceiling shelves. So I wanna just quickly show them to you. I'm pretty sure he got them on Amazon, like everything else, either Amazon or Lowe's where we get everything at. I wanna show them to you because it really helps us utilize the vertical storage as well as these shelves that he installed. So again, here's our garage door that I showed you that we just insulated, but here are those ceiling shelves that he installed. He actually ended up putting all of our Christmas stuff as well as some of our extra baby stuff that we're not using right now. He put it all up here and I think this is so good. We don't have to go up here very often. And if we need to, we just get out our ladder, but he worked really, really hard on those. Okay, so you've been following along with all of our little garage projects and now the time has come. We're gonna do a grand reveal of what our garage looks totally finished. All of our storage put up. Emmanuel built a workbench. He built some cabinets. He has the insulation done. We have everything painted from top to bottom of the floors. It's looking really good. So here we go with the official grand reveal of our Ryan Holmes garage project. So it's been a couple weeks since we actually finished the garage and we didn't actually do our grand reveal yet. So we decided we were going to do it right now. And I almost showed you one of Manuel's most exciting features of the garage. And he was like, Christine, turn the angle this way. So you can't see anything right now, except for this painted wall, which we did do. I don't die, I straighten this up. Okay. Emmanuel still putting the finishing touches on the garage. We did have to clean it up a little bit because like I said, we did it several weeks ago. So. Now I'm done. Okay. Let's go. Now he's done. We straightened it up. So he's going to give you a little tour of what we all worked on. He did most of it. I, I just like supervised. So here we go. So in addition to the floors, which you guys have already seen, we added this mat so you can wipe your feet before you go into the house. And then we got this fun stuff. I think we showed them that we were getting it, but I don't think we actually showed them once we actually built it. It is built now. We have Husky garage storage bins and workbenches. I have to put the wheels on this. There's wheels so I can move it out if I want to work somewhere else. But yeah, and then you got like a fun place to put all of your cobalt tools. Um, if you are questioning who sponsored this video, it's not Cobalt, but <laughs> Cobalt, if you would like to sponsor me, holla at your boy, I'm a big fan. So this is what most men want in their garage, or, I will say. Or that's what you wanted. This is what I want. You know, you got your tools, this is your space. And then over here- Wait, 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 you, you missed this really important feature that you added. If you want to wipe your hands, you can do that. <laughs> And then over here, we've got Husky shelves. Eventually, we'll do another pass at organizing. We have all the same like kind of bin so that everything can be organized like really well. Yeah, we got we got all these bins on Amazon, right? These are all on Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Yes. And then we got, you know, some cobalt tools that I haven't opened yet. So eventually I'll open Cobalt this. here, cobalt, cobalt here. Cobalt. There's more oh, cobalt wait, wait, over wait, wait, here. Wait. Got this lawnmower, cobalt. I'll let your boy, I'm all about cobalt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just wanna point out that these, oh, cobalt. These shelves are amazing. Before I actually built shelves, 
This is actually cheaper and more sturdy. So just go with Husky garage shelves. So these are Husky garage shelves you can get them from Home Depot or on Amazon. And then the final touch is just having a good consolidated place to put all of your stuff. You know, I've got some fishing rods up there. I don't really fish, this is for my nieces and nephews, but just some of your gardening stuff. Eventually we're gonna build a shed in the backyard and most of the gardening stuff will go back there. But there's still a few things that you just wanna hang up. So that's for that. One last thing that I haven't finished yet, I have a ball rack. <laughs> I wanna put this ball rack up somewhere. I think I'm gonna put it up right here. Christine goes on her walks every day, and so this is her station. You have the dog stuff, and then you just go for a walk. So we've parked the car in here several times, and we did the insulation so that when we pull it down, it's actually cool, and then you can actually work in here, so it feels really great. That's the garage. Oh, and sneak peek into what we're doing in the front yard. We have pulled out all these plants and it's time for an extreme makeover. Stay tuned here on our channel. We will share more what we're doing outside. It's officially nice and warm outside. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of landscaping, work on the back patio, all that stuff. So we're putting in some flowers today. We will see how it goes and report back. But hopefully you enjoyed all of this little garage update. I will try to link everything that we've used in the description below. Of course, like this video, hit follow if you like it and comment below any questions that you have for myself or Handyman Emmanuel. And we will hopefully answer those for you guys as well. Bye.